one. Scott, a frustrating night for the team, but I guess for you personally, the satisfaction of a second successive clean sheet. Yeah, it's always nice to, to keep a clean sheet, but um, it's disappointing that we, we didn't go on and win the game. Uh, the, I thought they, they set up really well and made it difficult for us to break them down and, and came into it a little bit more second half as, as we pushed for the winner. Uh, but for the first 10 minutes, we, we were really on top. And, and had we gone in 1-0 up, up then, then it, it, they'd have had to have come out. And, uh, and when, when you have your spells in, in this league, well, in any league, you have to, you have to score. And unfortunately, when we had that 10, 15 minute spell at the start, we, we just couldn't, we couldn't get one in. You do seem to have stifled the goals against you, but it seems to have been at the expense of goals going in at the other end. Yeah, t touch wood, we've been solid the last two, three games. Um, but like I said, we, we just got to get the right balance between going forward and, and keeping it tight at the back. And I'm sure um, goals have dried up a little bit for the for the front lads, but I'm sure sat come Saturday they'll be ready to go again and, uh, for a tough game at Southend. Is there a natural balance that says, as you tighten up, you are likely to perhaps sacrifice something going forward? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if we all knew the perfect formation, then we'd all be managing Real Madrid or even they could score six and concede five. So uh, if, we, if we, would, we knew the perfect formation, then everyone would be playing it every week. But uh, it's about finding the right balance and I'm sure we, we're just around the corner. And uh, what difference has it made to you having Steve Elliott back in the team? I think everyone's seen the difference since Steve has been back in. I mean, um, b before, like when he wasn't here, we, we were missing. I've said before after the Wickham game, we, we were missing that, that natural leader at the back. And uh, since he's come in, he's, I think like, he, he'll admit himself he was disappointed with the start to the season. But since he's come back in, he's been absolutely unbelievable. And uh, we didn't get man of the match Saturday. I do not know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the sponsors are thinking, <laughs> but there we are. So. so you see, we're sat here, obviously the fans are frustrated, you know, two goalless draws, you yeah. can understand that frustration. Yeah, I think uh, I think we've only won two games at home, uh, which is which is what we built a lot of our success on last season, was our home form, and uh, they pay their hard-earned money to come and watch and, and uh, for us to entertain them, and, and we're not providing that with wins at the moment, but uh, we've got three three out the next four away from home so hopefully we can we can get some points on the road and come here on in the Hartlepool game and, and put on a good performance just before, like I say we the fans pay their hard on, on money and they've got every right to voice their opinion um, but hopefully we when we do come back here Hartlepool we'll, we'll have six more points on the board and, and ready to kick on again C Can you put your finger on the fact that this year we're more games away from home than at home and last year of course the away form was probably what cost you promotion yes it's very difficult to, to say how or why but um, we've, we've not been brilliant away from home if, if we're being honest but we have picked up more points away from home than, than at home but um, like I say it is difficult to put our finger on it And uh, but we know the fans come here and, and they, they back us if, and if, if we're winning football matches then, then they back us even more but at the moment we, they're backing us still but we're not repaying them with, with the three points does it suddenly make Saturday's game a bit bigger now? So, you know, you've had, I don't know what number of points you'd have been targeting, but you've had two home games. OK, you haven't lost them, but it's only two points. Does it make Saturday bigger now? Well, yeah, we definitely wanted six points from these two home games, but Newport are a very good good team. They're doing really well. And, and uh, you know, the side is Bristol Rovers Club and, and John Moore gets his teams well organised and difficult to break down. But we'll go with whatever, whatever game it is, we, we go to win and we'll look to do that on Saturday. Scott, thanks so much. Cheers, thank you. Scott, two very important saves, one, one in each half tonight. I mean, you weren't busy throughout the game, but you have to be alert, don't you? And they, were you pleased with those saves because they're both one on ones? And yeah, I was uh, pleased with the one first half, especially. I mean, I, I got out quite quick to him and, and took one right on the. Uh, well, not right on, but it, it caught the end of it, so it's a little bit sore, but uh, it, it's worth it for the clean sheet. And, but like I say, unfortunately, we couldn't go on and keep the three points. Yeah, and the one in the second half, it was, again, similar, really, wasn't it? A little. Through on goal at the near post. And yeah, I mean, well, the, but the lad turned Craig really well. To be fair to him, and, and he was in on goal. Um, I was just thinking, don't when he was going through. I was just thinking, don't beat me at the near post. If you're going to beat me, you're going to have to work for your finish. And uh, unfortunately for me, put it quite close to me. Managed to get a couple of strong hands on it. Yeah, there's enough players here to to, to be able to create goals, and then you know, it's, it probably seems it seemed like a matter of time before the goals start flowing again because you've got 16 goals in yeah, your strikers alone yeah, this season. It's difficult because you're playing in that formation. And and where Sam Deering plays, he, I think he will admit himself, he, he, he's capable of a lot better. I mean, in training, he, he scores goals and he's first to do finishing and, and last to finish. And um, like I say, I'm sure his, his goal is just around the corner. 
uh, especially playing in that role because you, you do have the license to do anything. So I'm sure he'll he'll get his goal soon. And um, let's say we, we, Matt Richards has got six goals as well, albeit from from set plays. Tails has chipped in with a couple. So we, there's, there's goals in there, but like I say, I'm sure that he's just around the corner. Yeah, the manager said he set a clean sheet target. At least you got close to that. What can you tell us what you're aiming for now? After you know, bit of a um, I'm just. I still want to beat last season's, which yep. is going to be very difficult. But that's what he set out to do at the start of the season, and, and uh, that's what I still want to do. Although it's going to be very difficult to, to do that now. But uh, we've, we've got five, five clean sheets all in the league now, which, you, which is looks a lot better than the three two games ago. So yep. um, we, we look forward to Saturday, and we know it's going to be a very tough game. Yeah.